I just thought I'd make this little film about macro filming on a budget. I just wanted to show that you don't have to spend huge amounts of money to get decent macro footage and indeed to make decent wildlife films in general. And I hope the films that I post on my YouTube channel are testament to that. Especially if you can access YouTube through a 4K or HD smart TV. Okay, for any macro shots I need, I've been using this little Panasonic full HD camcorder. And some time ago, I was sorting through some old film equipment that I had. And I came across an old Super 8 cine camera that I used to use years ago. And the camera came with a selection of various filters and diopter close-up lenses. And they looked a very similar size to the lenses on these small camcorders. So I experimented by just holding the diopter lens on the front of the camcorder, just to try it out. And I was absolutely delighted it and amazed by the clarity of the results. The only trouble was the majority of these small camcorders don't have filter threads, thus the tape that holds the dark to lens in place. We keep the lens taped to this camera permanently and just use it for macro footage and get pretty good results through the majority of the 40 times zoom range. But since last year I've been using a Panasonic Lumix FZ1000 as my main camera, along with a Panasonic V510 camcorder which has an 80x zoom for the longer range shots. The FZ1000 has a 25 to 400mm, 35mm equivalent zoom lens. It's a non-interchangeable lens and does have an inbuilt, normal and short telephoto macro setting. And even at 400mm, the minimum focusing distance is quite impressive. But I thought if I could find some screw-on diopter lenses, I could improve the minimum focusing distance even more. I will continue to get plenty of use out of my little camcorder setup. But the reason I want to achieve a similar setup for the Lumix is for stills photography. Also, the Lumix has 4K video recording and more importantly, 100 frames per second slow motion, which is ideal for slowing down fast moving insects. Okay, I went online and pretty quickly found this set of four diopter lenses, which come in this neat storage pouch. These particular ones are made by a company called Niwa. You just need to choose the filter thread size of your lens or camera and obviously they just screw on the front like a filter. And even with other makes that are spotted online, a set of four usually consists of close-up plus one, close-up plus two, close-up plus four, and close-up plus 10. The lenses seem really well made and cost under 10 pounds, plus post and packing, which seems very good value, but let's see how they perform. Okay, this is with the plus one. You can still focus on distant objects in the wide angle setting. I've got the lens set at 300mm and 400mm to film these bees and there's no sign of any distortion or chromatic aberration. Okay, this is close up too. Once again, you can focus on distant objects in the wide angle setting. Now I'm zooming from wide angle to full telephoto. Once again, hardly any distortion and uh, no chromatic aberration. The higher the factor of the diopter lens, the closer you can focus with the camera lens. Okay, you can also use more than one lens in different combinations. I'm using plus one and plus two at the moment. Not bad at wide angle, a little bit of edge distortion. Just zoom in, that's pretty good. I'm using manual focus at the moment, but uh, autofocus works fine too. Obviously, if you're taking uh, high resolution stills, that you want to print out or use in a high resolution project, then uh, probably one and two are going to be best. But all the combinations so far would be fine for video. Okay, this is the four times on its own. Very little edge distortion at wide angle. Just going to zoom through the full range and just get in focus. And it's a little bit misty around the edges, but that's more to do with. Uh, the shallow depth of field. It's still pretty good though, very usable at least for video, maybe even some stills applications. Okay now for the big boy the 10 times and as you can see you can't focus on distant objects and there's lots of distortion as expected really. Even focusing on closer objects at the wide angle setting gives quite a misty image. I suppose you could use it as a soft focus special effects lens but when you zoom right in to 400 millimeter well, the picture speaks for itself. Well, there you go. If you've got a fixed lens camera, or you just don't want to go to the expense of purchasing a macro lens, then I think these Darpeter lenses offer excellent value for money. Well, to end this film, here's a short sequence that I shot at 100 frames per second using the plus two lens. Mm -hmm.